Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. My name is Shayna. Make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the bell button so you'll be notified anytime that I upload a video. But today's video is going to be something different, something not expected. Um, you guys are going to see. So today I'm going to be reacting to my... Um, I think it was mental abuse story that I did story time two years ago um, I think I did it two years ago in like May or something like that ironically I'm wearing the same hairstyle that I wore in that video the only difference is that I didn't have two pieces of hair right here um, but yeah excuse this piece right here if you see it it's annoying me so yeah I'm going to be reacting to it I'm not going to be watching the whole video just because this video is very very long it's like an hour and some change um if you guys want to see the whole video i will put the link down below um this video i've had private on and off past two years sometimes i keep it public sometimes i don't um but yeah i'm going to be reacting to it to compare myself now to back then in 2018 because a lot has changed about myself all right so let me, I'm just looking for the video right now. Now, okay, so I'm here in my story time section and here it is, a mental abuse. Mental abuse, my story. One hour, 13 minutes and 55 seconds. A lot of you guys don't know about what's happened. you never seen this video. But this was about someone that I dated in the past two years ago and I needed to vent and I just felt like saying my story because I know a lot of people are going through what I went through and a lot of people knew about me being with this person and just a lot of drama. They saw me with them, then they didn't, then they did, then they did it. And then you know, I was like, you know, this is why. At that point I feel like people needed to know because I feel like so much people were kind of involved I don't know how to explain it all right so here it goes now oh let me rewind that back hey guys um so today's video isn't going to be the happiest video ever um it took me a while to want to film this for you guys and so if you hear background noises my family is like run around now the reason why it's taken me so long is because first of all I look different like I look like me but I look a little older now I don't know how to explain it. I kind of feel like my cheeks changed like this area um, makeup is different, <laughs> but yeah, and I look like I'm distraught, so I wanted to make sure I was ready to explain. Ugh. Okay, as you can tell by the title, this is a very serious video, and I don't want this to be too long. I try to get out my crying before I do this video, and I'm probably going to cry in this video anyway, whatever. Um, this video isn't to... It's not me just being like, oh, like, I just want to tell you guys my business, and I just want to throw them under the bus, and I just want to, you know, talk Yeah, because you got to put the disclaimer out there. The reason why I want to do this video is because I recently watched a video on YouTube 
Um, and it was a video of this girl named Diana Moore on YouTube. And yep, I remember. Video, she posted me about three weeks ago. And it's about her experience in her abusive relationship. Um, a relationship that was a while ago, something I've always wondered, and she's never shared with anyone, which I didn't expect, but I always wondered. And basically, the person that she was with at the time wasn't what I thought they were. As shown on camera, they were very nice and sweet, but behind the camera, they were horrible. And her Facts. story touched me so much. I'm cry right now. Oh my goodness, don't cry. Damn, like, I can't even imagine, like, what pain I was in. Like, why was I tripping over this person? Like, looking back though, like, I was not in a good headspace because of this person. I told myself I want to cry. <laughs> Already crying Shit. into the video. I told myself that I wouldn't cry. Okay, her story really touched me because everything that she experienced, I experienced. There were a few differences, but the feeling that she had gotten from that relationship is the same thing that I got in from one of mine. Um, Damn girl. So I want to share with you guys my Jeez, it was that bad? Oh my god. Um, Damn. Damn, Shay. I want to share with you guys, like, my emotional, my emotional, <laughs> my, um, story on mental abuse. I was never physically abused. Actually, no, I'm lying. Um, I was physically abused before, but not by this person. Just mentally abused. Um, A lot of people thought our relationship, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, cool. Um, but a lot of people on my channel won't know because I don't put it on my channel. I haven't posted my relationship with social media. Um, I was with this person on and off for like three years, maybe two, I would say, but. Damn, that sounds strange. Well, to the third year, so on and off for three years. And this was someone that met. I'm going to cry. Uh, I'm going to cry. Oh my goodness. And it's true, this person meant everything to me. I don't know if they still watch my videos, but mm, mm -mm. I haven't even like started talking and crying. Like five. Even... It's like five minutes into the video. The story. Um, <laughs> this was someone that meant the entire world to me. They meant everything to me. Not no more. I would do anything for them. Not I no more. I would have sense because I'm not with them no more. And they were someone that I considered my everything. Like, they were my everything. Like, I love I love them so much. They knew that I loved the shit out of them. Like, I keep fixing my hair because I'm just like that. 
So don't be coming at me. Um, like I don't want to say names, but I feel like if I say this one thing, it'll give it away. But it's whatever. Whatever. So I'm a little girl, and I haven't been with girls like that, but she was like my first real relationship with a girl. And before me and her got together, we weren't really my like. Eyelash, you know. Ow. Like we like oh. each other, but we would always bump heads. That's facts. We would always argue. Yeah. Over the littlest things. And honestly, so my eye is watering because I poked myself in the eye because my eyelash was bothering me. But um, yeah, we would always argue. Like even um before we got into a relationship, like me and her used to go at it. We used to call each other bitch. Da -da -da. And honestly, like when you're acting like that towards each other before a relationship, like we sh I don't even know why did I even why why. But I felt like I should have seen another red flag, but I didn't. Mhm. Mm I stopped speaking to her for like a month. This was three years ago, like in 2015. Stopped oh. speaking to her for a month, and then she came back into my life, and she was like, you know, I realize that I need a change for you. And I can't be like that with I need to change for you. And I was like, you know, it's okay. They always realize when it's too late. So, I let her come back into my life. And then we got together. Later on that year, around Christmas time. Um, now, let me first start off saying that she was. She was good to me at first, dun, dun, but dun. I did see red flags. One red flag was that, um, red flag was that at that time she was kind of in drama, and now like I wasn't sure if she started a drama, but people that she had issues with obviously she had drama with um and there was a lot of like oh she used to talk to me and da 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 and I was just like why does this girl have like drama like it's like high school drama and at the time I was 20 and she was mm, Damn, she was 18. Sorry, I have to keep turning the camera off because there's people walking around my house and I need like privacy and silence for me to like do this. I can't remember the last thing I spoke about, but <sighs> basically she was in drama and stuff. But I always, even when I would like speak to her um, before me and her actually got together, I'm talking about when we used to like butt heads a lot and argue. It would be because she would want me and I would want her but I felt like there was always another female and now I was one of those girls where like I would look in the comments like who's that who's that I still and am kind of she would get tight and like we would argue and then she said she was going to change and then I should have known right from the start that you should have known better than to think now be. it's the same issue <sighs> Um, I missed that period thing. So sort of after that, um, you know, this was someone that I was always with, like every single day, almost every single day. Um, she was literally my life. Yeah. Real quick, my camera stops um after like 16 minutes or so, and I might have to like start the screen recording again, which is annoying. But I'm just putting that out there. Um, I was so used to her, um, I didn't have any friends, but her, like, she was, like, my friend, my companion, like, my everything, um, and I would try to have friends along the way, but they wouldn't work out. Yeah. And, not saying it wouldn't work out because of her, because, no, it wasn't her fault. It's just, I was so wrapped up 
in, like I was just so into her that like she was all I knew and I also I want to put this out here that I used to live like upstate or Westchester New York and when I started dating her um I had just came to the city again because I'm from the city and it's like when I came out here I had like one friend but then after that um I started talking to this girl so like I said she was kind of like all I knew in a way you know I'm sure you guys know what I'm trying to say loved her unconditionally unconditional loved her I loved everything about her I loved her flaws even when she thought that she was ugly I loved her for that oh yeah um, she's always got herself ugly like what now the first year of me being with her was kind of a blur but um I know that I didn't have like the best relationship with her parents um I can't her stand up here and still like can't me like that is it blurry I never gave them a reason to not like me I feel I don't know if it's focusing whatever but I'm about to um hit stream record again I won't say too much of her business as far as that because that's kind of like her business mm -hmm. I feel like when it comes to family it's a little different but let's just say I felt like the reason why they didn't like me was because they didn't accept her which is and wrong. I think they thought like I was influencing her okay. and at the end of the day your child her sexuality has nothing to do with me because she liked girls even before me Facts. this is the first girl I've ever been with I don't know why it's not focused. Um, and by far the worst experience I've ever had in my life. I, um, we were, that first year of us being together I'm trying to get was good. Phone. Like, we were good. Um, I was so used to being around her, and she was so used to being around me. Like, we would always talk, always FaceTime, all the time. Um, it was a kind of relationship where we wouldn't hang out with anyone but with each other, which is bad. Which is bad. Um, Go into my space. space. Then, space. also, I was the type of girlfriend that would be like, oh, I don't want you talking to this person or that person. I wouldn't lie. Yeah, it was. Because I heard but It wasn't because, like, if I do anything, it's for a reason. Half the time, I don't know Yo. Sorry guys, my grandmother was blending something in the blender. Hopefully she doesn't make that noise again because I'm going to go bonkers. I'm going to hit the screen recording. <sighs> right now. We're only friends with her. <coughs> but it's beneficial. I don't fuck with that. So I'm like, yo, like you can't be friends with her. Like, I mean... Now looking back at it, I'm like, you know, she's her own person. But I didn't mean no harm by it. I, I, I'm I, honestly a really, you know, caring person. And I was raised very well. And I felt like I was a motherly, like I had that motherly instinct about me. Always like looking after her. If I felt like she was going down the wrong path, I would try to stop it. And she would look at it as me controlling, and I really wasn't trying to be controlling. I Which is annoying. Cared like, about this girl. I cared about you. And I kind of felt like you? sometimes she didn't have a mind of her own, and she would make silly mistakes. Um, yeah. It's, everything was such a blur. Um, so, let's just say I look after so shares, I'm like, I've had my wrong, she's had her wrong. Um, and eventually things weren't working out up until like last year of like May. She broke up with me. Which is 2017 and, from this video. You know, before that, I would honestly like, I would honestly try to break up with her because it's like. The, the amount of arguments that we had was crazy. Like, it was like, it's such a boy now, it's 
crazy I can't even remember. Um I'm trying to remember for the sake of me like sharing my experience and it's so hard because I can't remember. Um how were the arguments? All I can remember is like more recent, but it would be petty arguments and it would take a toll on me mentally. I wouldn't want to eat. I wasn't motivated to do anything. I spiked off of YouTube. Um, oh, you guys yeah. don't know why I haven't been on YouTube a lot For last months, year. Yo. It was like a gap period. Like, like, I really let this dumb broad just steer me off track. Like, me now, like, I am never letting nobody stop me from doing what I gotta do. There may be days where, like, I will have like a mental breakdown, don't get me wrong, but I won't ever let it control me to the point where it's stopping me doing videos for months. Like, it, like I just, if she was with me now, I don't know if she's gonna watch this, but if she was with me now, listen, like all that kiki kaka that you was doing before, that shit is dead. I don't have time for that. And honestly, like, it just wouldn't be happening. Like the person that I am now, no way. Like, you got me all the way fucked up. Like, what? Like, pfft. Like, a five-month period I wasn't on YouTube or something like that. It was because of my relationship. I five months? Happy. Um, Never again. And it was a lot of pointing fingers. Like, no, but you did this, but you did that. And not, none of... Mind you, she wanted actions. to be on my YouTube, but you're doing this, and you're and stopping me. Lie. Like, and you're stopping me from doing my YouTube and making me sad and depressed. But you want to be on my YouTube? Like, she had the audacity to get upset because I put my friend Nicole on my YouTube two years ago, and she's like, "Oh, you you do things with Nicole, but you never posted me because you didn't deserve it." I talk with my hands, but you didn't deserve it. Like, what? Like, you can't be getting these special treatments, and you did not deserve it, honey. And it's worse because you knew me longer. You knew better. Crazy. What's wrong with you? Like, I, I wasn't the best, like, girlfriend, but I wasn't the worst either. I wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. But I know, and she knows, that I always had her back, even when... That's a fact. Had her back, always had your back. That's a fact. Where she got with fact. her friends and have her back. I always have her back. And I won't get too personal on that. But she knows that she's been through some shit that I've witnessed. Oh, yeah. And I've been there for her and I've held her down. Mm. And she broke up with me. I didn't fight for her. No. Nope. Because it's like I had a bunch of red flags leading. I had so many red flags. And I would threaten to break up with her, and then she would beg me to stay, and I would stay, and I would stay, and I would stay. And when she broke up with me, I was like, okay, Shana, like, she broke up with you, like, don't beg for her back because you've been trying to leave her. I'm on some new shit, jumping on my deuces like, no. up to no, her. I'm not gonna fight for you if you wanna leave me. And she's like, well, are you gonna try? I'm like, no. And like, that was that. I felt like that at the moment, and then a little bit after, maybe like a month or so, I don't remember, um, I wanted her again, and I wanted to make it work, and she was pushing me away, was crazy. she was like, no, like, I don't want you, you put me through hell, and what would really fuck Yo, tell me how, tell me how, yo, tell me how, shorty freaking, um, I don't like losing shorty, but whatever. I remember she embarrassed me and she posted a screenshot of her deleting pictures of me and her off her camera roll and was like, oh, doing some spring cleaning. You try to violate, girl. <laughs> girl. Really? Really? Like, really though? Immature. That's rude. That's disrespectful. That's wild. Like, I never do some shit like that to you. That's crazy. I don't gotta do that to let people know that I'm not with you no more. They're gonna know when they see me with somebody else. Oh, when they just don't see me with you. Like, that's it. That's that. You're weird. Like, what? With me was that everything she was saying 
I felt about her. But I kept putting her feelings before mine Amen. every single time. Amen. And today, you know, being with her, I've, you know, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a few people would assume that she's bipolar and all that stuff. And I'm like, no, babe, like, nothing's wrong with you, nothing's wrong with you. <laughs> and then experience, and then experiencing being with her longer, I started to see it myself. Facts. She is bipolar. And I don't know if she's, I hope she's better now, it, but I can see oh. it. It's very bad, and it's gotten to the point where I feel like she would believe her own lies. Crazy. Kind of make me feel like I was wrong. She's a narcissist. And when I would tell for people what I was going through, they're like, "Shayna, what are you doing? You have to leave." And I just couldn't leave. Why? Because I would keep replaying all the good times in my head. And then I'm like, gone. Her, and then I'm like, I know this girl before this. Why is she like this? Because like, I was I never her. Sweet. Why, why she is she like this? And I've always wanted to fix her. And I'm like, she, I'm like, you can't fix her. I'm just now realizing this. And last, you know, last summer, like, I was fighting for her. I was trying to be with her again. I was like, you know, yeah, I want to work on things. And she's like, no. When I wanted you to, you know, fight for me you didn't want to fight for me so now like forget about it now she's like what like that reverse i wouldn't call it reverse psychology i don't know what to call it but I yeah was just, like, reverse like, manipulation like, yeah, i felt bad because and, what she was doing was you know what i wanted you to be why i wanted you to be with me on my time and now you want to be with me well i don't want you that's how it was like she wanted me when she wanted me that's what it was that's all right though you don't have no more so it's just like Okay, whatever, but I would still try because I love her so much. Why? And, Why? um, <clears throat> excuse me, this video is going to drag. For um, a fact. <laughs> I'm going to have to end it soon and just so finish it up. So, last summer was when the relationship, we weren't together, but we were still messing with each other, is when the whole relationship kind of took a turn in it. But this is when, like... <laughs> It just helped everything out. Um, oh, man. So, we're talking, whatever. I will still see her. Maybe not every single day, but she would pick me up from work. Pretty frequently. Remember that? And at the time, I wasn't talking to nobody. Nope. Um, yeah, I was flirting with people, whatever. I wasn't legitimate talking to anybody. And meanwhile, she was doing whatever she wanted to do like she had me she was having social media. a blast she did a button and button want me on her social media but she would always like she would make sure that we would communicate through text or through facetime that then was so was weird to me yo why would i even allow that i would What's block her and i would block her and she would block me and unblock me and i just kept going back and forth and then i was like you know what I don't think me and her are going to be together ever again. So then... And that was so hard for me to, to accept. I swear it was so I hard. To do. And... Um... <sighs> so, now we're fast forwarding to the end of the summer. I'm still seeing this girl. And... She was talking to multiple people while she was still talking to me. And she was worried about me. For what? This year. For what? So, um, <laughs> so around like August or something like that, I was talking to somebody. Who was I talking to? I talked to them. Who does? Oh. <laughs> I didn't oh, do okay. it out of spite. I remember. It was because I actually like them. I genuinely like the person. Oh yeah. I wanted to do that. Like I'm grown. Whatever. Um well now I'm grown, twenty five. Um <laughs> then, I forgot I said that. In that time frame, mind you, she was still talking to somebody. And she would still call me to make sure I'm okay. Of course I would give in because I still cared about her, but 
you know, when you're in that state of mind where, like, you're just like, the relationship is done, and then you don't know if it's done, and then you're hearing from them, and you're not hearing from them, like, it, it's like it a circle. messes with you. It messes with your head. Facts, yeah. And at this point, I'm like, I don't understand. You're telling me that you don't want to be together. But then you're like, no, it's not that. I love you still. But I just don't know what I want. You put me through so much. I'm like, but you put yeah. me through so much. The amount of disrespect that I took from this female, I don't know how I had the patience. Can never be I don't me know now. how I Can never. had lost my mind. I did lose my mind. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about being cursed at, and I used to curse at her, but I cut it. And like when she broke up with me, that whole summer, last summer, like I've changed. Like I've grown up. I've realized, okay, Shayna, you know, when you want to express how you feel, don't curse at somebody. They're not going to listen to you. You know, you got to put your pride aside. And then build that. I did and a lot. I with showed her. her that, and she's seen that, and she still didn't change for me. No. Still people will change if they want to. And it's not for you, maybe okay. somebody else. September Whatever. Comes, me and her. But I just know that that has nothing to do with me because I was enough. So. Her still messing around. I'm still trying to get her to be mine again. At the point, at that time when I was messing around with her, I wasn't phys physically. I wasn't physical with anybody else. And. I even bought her an engagement ring with an idiot. Because me and her were engaged at one point. I bought her an engagement ring, and the reason why I did it was because I was like, yo, like, I really want why this. Why did she I was even? Like, well, you know, oh when God. I wanted you, I worked for you, and I did things to get you. So, you know, you got to do things to get me. Ew. And then now looking why? back, I'm like, Shayna, why would you do that when you know this girl isn't all about you. I feel like now you're fucking with my head at this point. Looking back at it. Wow. And when got her the engagement ring. And then I think like the same day or, or the day after we're arguing. And I can't remember what the argument was about, but we're just arguing. I can't remember either. She's cursing at me. Something stupid. And I was just like, you know, I regret buying this engagement ring. Like what am I doing? And that was expensive. And like, I know people be spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on engagement rings. I didn't, but that was a lot of money. And I'm glad I got my money back for that, because, I don't know. I returned it. And I told her, I was like, you know, you're a fucking idiot. Like, I was going to propose to you. And she felt stupid. Whatever. First of all, her, first of all, <laughs> I got to cut myself off. Because what a lot of people don't know, and I don't talk about it because I feel like it don't really count. This girl proposed to me. 2016 around Christmas time I remember like it was yesterday I said yes I don't know why I said yes but I said yes and then we called it off I gave I think I kept I kept it I kept the engagement ring and then that's when I was trying to propose to her again that's stupid and I remember she wanted the ring back to get like some type of like was, like that insurance I don't remember what it was but some type of money back and I threw it in the garbage because no you're not getting no money back. Garbage. Basura. I don't know why I even bothered to even like try to propose to her again. Like what is wrong with like. Honestly. Like I want all that to disregard that. Because I'm going to disregard that. Because that's weird. I would never do that again. Trying. And like you keep trying. <coughs> My throat's still itches. So I'm coughing a lot. Oh yeah I was sick and I was at like, the time. But you gotta understand like. I really want you. And I want this to work. And I don't see myself with anyone but you and I'm just stop and Alright, so I know I cut that video short, but this video is honestly going to be way, way, way too long. Remember when I said, you guys, this shit was going to be like an hour and some change. Um, yeah, so pretty much to sum everything up, and you guys can watch the video too. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, this girl is, was, whatever, nuts okay like crazy delusional like i don't care what she says to this day like is my shit out of focus come on now 
Hold up. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay. Um, she can say what she wants, but I know what's up. Um, what's funny though, let's fast forward. So I'm gonna give you guys some tea. The end of 2018, I remember she was trying to talk to me again. We was we linked up about like twice, I remember. And she was trying to talk to me and talk again and she was giving me a time frame on when to be with her again. I was like, Are you nuts? Like again. Like you haven't learned your lesson, bro. Like what's good with you? Like dead ass. So I'm like you're not giving me a time frame when to be with you. You hurt me and to you I hurt you. Whatever the case may be. No. That's not how you do things. She was trying to have me hang out with her for New Year's. I said no. She was trying to have me go to Staten Island with her fans. I was like no. Instead I hung out with my friend and his friends. Um, at their house. New Year's into 2019. And I remember the last text I sent her. I don't even know if I still have it. I think it's on my laptop though. But it's deleted off my phone. And she was basically like saying. Oh like this is so hard for me. Like I guess to not be together and talk and her not be how she wants to be with me i don't know um and she's like oh i think you'll have a better time if you come with me like we don't gotta do nothing like we'll just chill i'm like yo i'm about to say her name i'm like yo you know how you know how you get with me you know how you get with me like i don't know how you get how you, how you would get with me now but we know what it is at the time so i'm not letting that happen and honestly that was like a sign like shana you can stop this cycle right now break the cycle right now stop taking her back it got to the point where it didn't even have to be relationship it could just be in my life i couldn't even have her in my life because she would just be pissing me off like she would just feel entitled for, for whatever reason like just because you had me and this is for anybody out there just because you had me already does not mean you can feel entitled bro it doesn't mean you can feel entitled like no like i am not yours no more it's done you don't like you're not entitled to nothing all right so um now this is december 2018 now in january 2019 this girl gets into a relationship with another female and honestly at the time i was a little aggravated not because oh i have feelings for her or whatever the case may be this shit is like not focusing now what the fuck not because I have feelings for whatever the case may be. No, because that wasn't the case. It was the idea of you was really trying to be with me again, right? Give me a time frame and then you got into a whole new relationship a month later. That just tells me that you did not really like me. You just wanted me. For what? And this is why I'm like, I can tell when someone likes me and when someone just wants me just to have me. Like at that point, I was like, yo, what, what, what is this? It's like you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. And then you want to clown me on social media and do all this stuff weird freaking weird um yeah so then i went to california you guys remember in 2019 march i remember she was watching my story this is before i went to california i think and i was like oh i don't think your girl would appreciate you watching my story and she goes lol i and i hate being talked to like that but i let it slide and um she blocked me and um then she unblocked me again like two and a half months later and um i know i listen i know when people unblock me trust and she unblocked me when i was in cali the second time in june of last year and she blocked me again so i'm like you're weird bro like you're so and that's how i knew she was watching me that's how i knew i'm like yo you're in a whole ass other relationship and you're still watching me like what's up and um then she unblocked me again i think later on in the year i don't remember but she unblocked me again and then she blocked me recently about a month or so ago and the reason why i know that is because um anytime i type in like i don't know if this happens for other people but like let's say if you type in the letter let's say s and like all the pages with s's come up I typed in the letter of her name and her page popped up usually um and then this time what happened was I was on my page and I was scrolling through my old pictures because I had a tendency to do that I was like archiving pictures and I peeped that she commented on one of my photos from like three years ago and I was like 
I was like so salty. I was just like ill. Like why? And then I clicked her username and it said no user found or something like that. And I was like, oh, she blocked me again. Mind you, I haven't spoken to her since I told her, oh, you shouldn't be watching my story because your girl wouldn't like that. That's the last time I ever exchanged words with her, okay? And the last time I actually, actually had an actual conversation was in 2018 of December. And that was the last time she saw me. So I'm like so confused at this point because I'm just like, sis, we haven't spoken that long. Like, why are you still blocking me, yo? Like, what the, what the hell? And like, you guys keep like, oh, Shay, why do you care? It's not that I care because I don't. I just can't understand why is she unblocking and blocking if we haven't spoken in so freaking long. Like, I don't, I don't get that. <sighs> I don't get that at all. So she's in a new relationship now. Um, I wish her nothing but the best. Um, hope that girl makes her happy. I wish her girlfriend the best with her. Um, you know, my ex, you know, she's probably a whole different person with this girl. I hope so. I hope she's a better person. I hope she did not talk crap about me to her new girlfriend because I know she has a tendency to do that. She'll talk about the last person to the next person. Um, because there's two sides to every story and i'm not crazy and everything that i said in that video you definitely did um yeah i can tell that you have not grown up or matured because you're still doing the blocking you're showing me that you're still thinking about me and you don't want to see my page so you're blocking me honey that's why you shouldn't have jumped into a new relationship because you were not ready you're bored you just want somebody there okay i can tell because when i told you no and another person told you yes what happened a month later you was with the person who told you yes and that also tells me that she, you were already talking to her you must have been talking to her while you were talking to me again in december 2018 because how is it that you can just jump into a new relationship without knowing somebody unless you're dumb you get my point you guys so yeah that's basically it I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment, share, subscribe, and the bell button so you'll be notified anytime that I upload. Check out my eyelashes at shainaapwanted.com slash shop. I'll leave it right here as always. I'm wearing the lashes Olivia. And thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.